Here's how you make your own custom gradients in Adobe Photoshop. This will work in any version. Let's do it. So I'm just going to start with the standard size 1080 by 1920. And if you double click on this here, you can get rid of that lock and it'll let you add layer styles to this layer. So we're going to go to gradient overlay and it already has a, a gradient that it thinks I want to use, but I'm not going to use that. So in the new Photoshop, the gradients are organized a lot better. They're organized by color and organized very nicely for you to use. Here, let's make this a little bigger. So you can use blues. There's plenty that you can just custom use or you can use purples like pinks, oranges, reds, they all have these different style gradients in, in here. But let's say you just, you wanna make your own and none of these really speak to you at all. Cause a lot of these are pretty much like very similar. There's only like slight differences in some of them. So like these two are pretty much the same. So if you wanna make your own, you just, you get out of this option and then you just double click right here. And now, there's these bars here that pop up. This is showing you that your pink is down here. It's starting with the pink and then it's going to end with this purple, but you could, you could change either of these colors or add colors or however you want to do it. And this is how you do that. So you just click on the color, double click, and it'll actually, you can click that there here. I'll show you. And then you could change this to any color you want and you can see it's updating it in real time so you can actually see what the color of the gradient is gonna be. I think I like that. So just hit okay on that. And you can also like, say I wanna add another color in here somewhere. You just click another spot, double click on that color and we can make it pink or whatever color we like. Now these here are gonna tell you how much of a fade these colors are gonna have before they transition into another color. So if you have it closer to a color, see how it's like, it's, it's stretching out the pink and getting rid of the purple. Now, if I set that, the transition here is gonna be a lot harsher, but if you spread it out, it becomes a lot smoother. So that's something you wanna pay attention to also when you're doing your gradients. You might want a sharp transition or you might want a smooth one. It just all depends on how you want it to be. And then also, you can change this to be noise and then it'll have like these different color bands and you're going to get, you can get like a more complex gradient going here and you can change the, the color styles. It's pretty intuitive and like you can really, really get down and customize these gradients to as you want them to be. So I'm going to go back to solid cause it's just a little cleaner. So once you get that going, then all you have to do is hit, Let's see, let's do a miles gradient. And then just hit new. And now you have this new gradient saved here. You can click okay. And now it's gonna pop up at the bottom. You have a saved gradient. You can edit it however you please. You can turn the scale up. You can pull it up, pull it down. You can make it radial. No matter how much, how you do it, the colors are still gonna be in that same order. And it's gonna look great. So that is how you make your own gradients. Okay, if you got any questions or comments, you can just leave it in the box below. Like usual, I appreciate you guys checking out this quick tutorial. Hope you check out the rest. Have a good day, peace out. Also make sure if you're enjoying this content, hit like and subscribe and make sure you turn on your notifications too.